Let's go! All right, what's up, dudes? A lot of people have been requesting this one, and I've missed it over the past couple of days. Monster Hunter World Iceborne, which I'm going to be playing in, like, T-minus five days or so at E3, has a story trailer that they just put up. Um, sorry, had to put up. I, a lot of people were talking about this. I tried, I worked my butt off to not know anything, although I've seen some things about weapons and stuff, but I haven't seen all the weapon demo videos as well. I think we'll probably check those out right after this. Either way, uh, most of the critical stuff in this trailer I haven't seen yet. However, me and Jessica did get another opportunity recently to play some Monster Hunter World. We actually really enjoyed it, had a ton of fun, and it made us realize how awesome it's going to be to sort of jump back into this game and re-kill all the monster and wear their beautiful skin to show to our friends. Either way, let's watch the Iceborne story trailer. I'm looking forward to it. A fair wind, just like the fifth banner. Luck's on our side. Yeah. Look at that ge generic create a man. Okay, so this is us going to Ice Place. Everyone's got their cool stormtrooper gear. Nice work. The base is coming along well. And they can just they can just keep playing this off, just move from place to place to go to a tropical environment or some shit. Cat's gonna make some new dishes? I wanna see Ooh, it's happening. God, I wish this game was on parity with PC. I, I wanted to switch to the PC version, but the console always had more stuff faster, and it's the same thing with this. It's coming to console first. All right, shit's getting hairy. Thank you, Yana. Oh, no, that's a fuzzy leggy. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, it's actually a different, it's like a variation. Holy shit! Ah, uh, this is... All, all the grappling hook stuff looks ridiculously cool. The fuck? Ooh, that looks like a new Elder Dragon. Like, absolutely. And we are... in the bottom of the pit now. Where's my- where's my- where's my blood poodle? Oh, fuck! Is that Tigrix? I don't know if it is. I'm- I'm so crappy at the old Monster Hunter names because I didn't play a lot of them. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Get him, Blood Pooch! Things had a very traditional, like, dragon face. The Legion has sent migration. In song. So wait a minute, what, Legion is showing up in, like, the first area? Oh, shit. They're out there fighting tooth and nail. I can't leave yet. Not when there's work to be done. Are we supposed to feel sympathy for the monsters? As part of this ecosystem. As hunters of the new world! I'm afraid I just want to wear their skin. The f what the hell? You get new transportation? Or That's actually sick. If I can ride around Jagras and stuff, and... Ooh, that'd be cool Four if you can get other things. Expedition failed, so they left it to the next generation, hoping we'll succeed. And now we're here because someone believed in us. So they're back in the Elder's Recess. So you know what? We won't fail. It's funny, this is so story-heavy. Well, it is a story trailer. <laughs> it is a it is a goddamn story trailer. Uh what's the stinger? Look out! And I'm sure someone will immediately identify that monster based on its uh roar pattern. Damn it! I'm sure everyone will tell me what the hell it is. It looks great! I mean, I like the fact that you get more traversal options around the area. It's nicer to, like, move around a bit quicker, because you do spend a lot of damn time, like, running between the environments. As soon as you know, like, where monster patterns go and how they do, it's like... It's just like a, a bunch of time in between you getting to them, so I think it's cool, because... 
grappling onto like the, you know, the, the aerial monsters and sort of flying around with them never really seemed reliable to me. I don't know, maybe I just was always dumb with it, but I like the fact that you can uh, maybe tame monsters. Maybe that's one of those things that you get through your cats where um, if you level up like certain aspects, I know that you can get them on your side. You can actually get them to fight with you. So you can have your main character, a cat, like a another cat that you find in the area, and you can get like a Jagras fighting with you. I only know this because I watched Jessica play and she maxed out all that stuff. So I, uh, game looks great. It's going to be heavy on story. I'm hearing it's going to be even bigger than the damn first Monster Hunter world, which sounds insane. But uh, the thing I really want to check out, and I've only seen little bits and pieces on Twitter, is the actual weapon videos. So let's go through every single weapon video. Some of them I'm going to be like, what? I don't even, like, hunting horn. But um, there's a few that, as someone who's used, like, seven or eight weapons, I'm really looking forward to. All right, weapon number one, sword and shield. How be you do and how does it go? Looks like you're actually using the claw now. I use sword and shield a little bit. I'm, I'm curious if the claw is actually on every single attack, because now you have new mounting attacks. Ugh. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. So you can use your slinger ammo to, like, stun the shit out of him. That looked painful. Alright, long sword, though. I think. Unless I screw it up. Ooh! Ooh, sheath and strike? This gear looks badass, by the way. Take that, Pookie Pookie, you big piece of shit. Long sword's fun because it's, like, about knowing the monster's moves and evading and, like, parrying or countering. Damn. A lot more opportunities for you to stun the monster. Oh, shit! So once again, it's another, like, counter state. It'll avoid attacks. I like it. I like it. Alright, I have no idea what the hell this one is. Ooh, dual blades. Okay. Uh, the Unga class. The hell is that? The hell is wrong with your hair, lady? New mounting attacks? Because they all have new mounting attacks. I wonder if there's any reason to not use that, if it has, like, a cooldown? There's gotta be a cooldown. There's some cool evading shit now. Okay. New demon mode stuff. I like that you can do flips and dips. Alright, I'm gonna continue using that weapon. Ooh. Sword and shield? Ooh, damn. What is all different on this? Holy shit, you can like stun him and hold on to him? Yeah, Sword and Shield looks like it's got even more, like, cause you could use your... Holy crap. You could, you could use your Slinger ammo, uh, with the Sword and Shield before, but now it looks like you can do it even more. What the hell is this? Hunting Horn. I can only tell you if things just look weird. As someone who's never used a big horn. So yeah, I, you, wow, we just get so many more opportunities to... Slinger ammo seems to be so much more important than it was before. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is badass. This all looks interesting. And different. What in the hell? This is- this is fucking nutty! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks! So here's, uh, here's Hammer. I didn't use a lot of it. Only in the beta. It seemed fun, I just never, like, I don't know, I just never picked it back up. Yep, once again. Everyone can use Slinger ammo with the weapon out now. Slap! Ow. Ow! Damn, dude, these new grappling attacks look so sick. Alright, Ransu. I, uh... Lances, I've always wanted to start playing more of it. Cool-ass weapon. Is that... is that... Tier 2 Beetlejuice armor? It might be. Fuck, I love how he just sticks the giant lance in between his armpit. Or he lets it stick behind him. That's awesome. All the goofy little animations of them, like, how they- how they manage the equipment.
Ooh, what the hell? You can use the claw to parry shit now? What the hell? Okay. All right. All right. Getting getting technical. Ooh, okay, here's Gunline. So I only... I, I love this weapon. It was the first weapon I started using a Monster Hunter. Okay, Dragon's Breath. What is new? Gotta show off the fact that you can do that. Catch claw things. This is gonna be the same for every weapon, I'm guessing. Yo, what the hell? New ammo type? Oh, that is different. That is different. It explodes. Oh my god, and it really- woo, okay, so you get more crazy bullshit you can stick on the monsters. Okay, this one is definitely the switch axe, so I'm not gonna get it confused with the great sword. Ugh. All right. And I got- I got way too many switch axes that I don't use. Stupid ass dinosaur. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's in your head, buddy. There's the, uh, yep. Mash circle. Ooh, that looked different. Oh my god, you can charge it multiple times? And then you can stick it in his fucking head? Oh god damn, that looked badass. I like it. Alright, here we go, charge blade. I, uh, I love this weapon. That gear is amazing. What the hell are you wearing? Holy shit. That gear looks really damn cool. Okay, how can they change charge blades? Because charge blade, this weapon's already amazing. Already multi-utility multi just for being like a little weird to use. Okay, that's badass. Ooh, transition animation. An old one. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, all right, it's still going. This is a different attack. He's got to be fully charged up. A little different. Interesting. It's kind of an old one. But you can throw slinger ammo in between. What in the crap? It's still fucking going? Oh my god! <laughs> and he got the full. D Shit. Oh, I know Jessica's gonna be happy with this one when she sees it. Look at this Bloodborne-ass Bloodborne costume! Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna have to pick up that hat. ASAP. Anything crazy different? Oh wow, they actually get grapple attacks too. They whack you with the arrows. That's pretty great. As you do a backflip off and you shoot them. Ooh! New ammo type thing. All right, all right, short but sweet. Archers are, uh, the regular bow is very good. My sweet, my sweet bejesus, insect glaive. Oh, that looks like upgraded Legiana armor. And it looks badass, holy shit. Interesting, they showed sharpening for some reason. The big thing with this weapon, you always have to sharpen. Always. Holy crap. Holy crap. Uh, yes. You got- you have orange. What is that other thing? Is that a boost? You got red. You got white. Now you're collecting them, right? Yeah. Oh, so you can send them all out at once? Oh, okay. Okay. It looks more like a mechanical differences than, um, like new moves and stuff like that. Okay. All right, last couple. I don't know how much different this is going to be because I didn't use a- I didn't use a lot of these weapons. That is- that is upgraded Gyros armor. Gyros? It looks really cool. Bang, bang, bang. Is that golden pickle? It certainly is. Oh my god! If you can get four people clam like clamoring onto the head of a monster doing that shit, that'd be pretty amazing. What are you setting up for? Holy shit. 
Go for the heart. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's all right. All right. Last one. Ooh. This shit looked really cool. Quick reloading. God, there's such neat acrobatic shit everyone can do now. Can't wait, man. Damn, look how mobile they are. Holy hell. Ba -ba. This game looks fucking awesome. Uh it you know, and what it's doing is that it's like it's reminding me of how much fun it was when Monster Hunter World first came out. Like, I, me and, I was hopelessly addicted for the first two months of this game's release, I felt. I put so much time into Monster Hunter, and then after that it was just like, when new monsters came out, we would kill them and come back and kill them and get their stuff. But not a lot of, like, continual farming or gem farming. But my god, dude, just to think that we get to go back to Monster Hunter and kill all the old monsters, much less fight a whole bunch of brand new ones and everything's gonna be harder and crazier and potentially more rewarding than it ever has been. And the fact that all the- all the gear- I'm sorry, all- all the weapons now have new moves and the grappling hook changes things completely? Yeah, man. I, uh... I- I really want to get my hands on this game. And I probably will at E3, so... I'll be back with more on Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, as soon as I possibly can.